in this video we are going to see how uh, the graph traversals first we will see there are actually there are two traversals depth first search and then breadth first search so what do you mean by breadth first search and depth first search like three we have three traversals pre order traversals in order traversals and post order traversals in order to uh, travel a graph and visit all the nodes we have two traversals one is depth first and another one is breadth first now we will see first dfs and then we will see bfs here we will take a graph as an example for this depth first traversal so how you will be visiting you have to visit the, as the name suggests depth first you have to visit till its depth and then move uh, up and then visit all the nodes in that and then again there so first in the it is if it is level 0 and you take level 1 level 2 and level 3 from level uh, level 0 you move to level 1 and then you go inside uh, that particular level 1 um, right most or uh, left most and then you go deep visit its level next level next level and then go up for that you will be using the stack data structure because that will help you to do the depth first search in an efficient way so uh, first visit the adjacent unvisited vertex what do you mean by unvisited if you are not going through that then we call it as an unvisited vertex so for example first you will be printing yes here and then you put this adjacent vertex a b c that you will be pushing to the stack and then you would be popping the topmost element from that and then put its neighbors up uh, when you pop it it means you are visitor so that is what called as unvisitor and visitor when you pop it you call it as visitor and then push the its neighborhood so d will be push and then after visiting d g popping d g will be pushed and after popping g its neighborhood e and f will be pushed after e popping and so on. now we will see the logic behind this uh, by doing so first we will see here let us take a simple example a simple graph after that we will come to that like graph here uh, yes is the let us take from starting from yes we are going to go through it so let us take s so first what will we doing we will print the value of s first visited no or vertex and then we will push the respective element the its neighborhood into the stack so here a will be pushed uh, let us take it from the backtracking so when you do backtracking because topmost element only will be pop so let us take this c from here from right to left will go so from first c will be pushed that is the right most of this and then b will be pushed and then a okay now after pushing them initially we visit the node uh, first node it can be this also can be a first node this also can be no any node can be the uh, source But let us take S to be the source, and then we push its neighbors. So C, B, A. So in this right to left order, as because we are going to write the adjacency matrix, and in algorithm we are going to scan from right to left. So I am following the same thing here. So C, B, A. They are all pushed into the stack. Now pop this A. Now so after popping a this will be removed from the stack so here and you have to write the popped element as visited when you pop it means it is visited now when you say that what are the neighbors of this a that has to be pushed into the stack when you see the neighbors it is s and d s is already visited so that should not be pushed now you see that d is not visited so that you 
push into that is a new number so push into the star now after this now you pop the value topmost so now you will be printing the value d then as it is popped let us say it is removed from the star okay now the top element is this is what you are top element now pop b and uh, as we are popping it seems it is visible when you pop anything it is a visible element so now it has been printed on the printed when you say visible you have to print it then you check its neighbors after printing the value you check its neighbors yes and d already yes is visible and d is also visible so nothing to push if there is uh, unvisited vertex only you will be pushing it to the star okay now so that is okay now already you have popped this and you have printed so now this no more that no more that now the next top is the top element is c now you pop that so and print it now if you see that neighborhood d is already visited and s is also already visited now so well now this is also has been popped and printed now the stack is empty and stop so if you see that this is our um depth first search so see if you see that first s is sister a and then d depth full depth and then it goes to b and then c all other nodes are visible if there is b also having so many uh, nodes that also will be visible then only the c will be visible so this is the example now let us take another example the same what i have uh, explained in the slide so let me close it here and we will see how it works here now um, let us draw a stack okay now let us see a stack and first let me draw the stack it's not coming properly this packet or give me okay now we need to take this okay now let us visit yes yes is uh, first we are listing s yes, and you can print push s yes. now then you pop the s yes. so when you pop you have to print it on the as visitor so i am printing it as visitor then what are its neighbors what are the adjacent vertex it is a b c as i said you have to move from right to left so let me push c first and then b and then a okay then now what we do is the next step we have to pop a so pop a and print it here we have printed now we rub this because we have popped a now after popping a what you have to do is you have to print its you have to push its neighbors uh, adjacent vertex into the star now if you see the adjacent vertex of a it is d and s s is already visited so don't push it but we can push the value d okay now after doing so now you are going pop so when i pop it okay now i pop and print it on the as the visitor then its neighborhood is g and a a is already visited so i put for push g into the memory stack into the stack now again you pop this g so now the g is popped and i am writing it here as visitor okay now its neighborhood what are the neighborhood of this g it is nothing but d e and f d is already visited so i have to push e and f again from this way i am pushing so first i am pushing f and then pushing e okay now you have to pop the topmost element now e is popped and then 
so after copying this is invert that okay now this is written here now after e, e is written its neighborhood is g and b g is already visited so i push b okay it is not at this step now b is popped so b is popped top push element is popped and it is written as visitor okay now f is the now pop f if there is no more uh, element because here for b already these things are all visited so now i pop f and write it here as visitor so now f is written now the next f or f what is the f is written what is the element for a uh, neighborhood of uh, f is uh, it is g and c c is not yet visited so i just push that c here it is a neighborhood so that i am pushing it into the star now what happens again i pop the c and write it here so c is already Return. Now the top of the element is B, where B is already visited. So just pop and don't write it as, since it is already visited, don't write. And C, it is also visited, so don't write. Now if you see that this is the order of step person, that is S, A, D, G, and then E, and then B, and then F, and C. So this is the step first order. 